The Messenger by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Now summer opens wide her door, and with her gracious mien, she bids us pass the threshold o'er to prospects all serene. She offers us a wealth of hours, of days that thrill with love, with lanes and pastures decked with flowers and smiling skies above. Her messenger is lovely June, all kindliness and grace, with light of sun and stars and moon illumining her face, with music soft and zephyr sweet and beauty all awake she lays her treasures at our feet that we may freely take june first end of poem this recording is in the public domain a fair idea by john kendrick bangs read for librivox.org by Bruce Kachuk. If one should ask me my idea of heaven, I think I'd answer six times out of seven that tis a place where love sits on his throne, where fear and all mistrust are quite unknown, where care comes not, and life is all in tune, and from year's end to end tis always June june second end of poem this recording is in the public domain judgment by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by bruce kachuk i never knew a man so good but i could find flaws if i would I never knew a man so bad, but that some virtue rare he had, and hence it is I cannot find a method certain in my mind by which to judge my brother's ways in terms of blame, in lines of praise, and therefore feel no special call to judge my fellow men at all. June 3rd End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Proof by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. I could not be an atheist unless my soul could quite desist from all belief in love for love i hold is but a form of godliness and peace or storm streams o'er us from above and godliness could not well be or so my logic teaches me if there were not some source some godlike fount and centre whence in all its rare munificence that stream began its course june fourth end of poem this recording is in the public domain elation by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by bruce kachuk i walk my way on earth elate because my heart has banished hate because my soul's too occupied with things of love to think of pride and all the vanities that lead the spirit of mankind to greed and everywhere i go i plan to find the good that lies in man and when night comes i feel as though despite life's worries and its woe I'd spent a host of happy hours in meadows filled with lovely flowers. June 5th End of poem. 
This recording is in the public domain. Blessings Twain by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk Two things I find most helpful in This complex world of joy and sin By which I'm often carried through The clouds that evil chances brew The first is gratitude For things of good in past adventurings The other hope for good to be in days that lie ahead of me. June sixth. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Good End by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk if love's a sickness full of woe as some old gloomy poet stated i'd be the very last to go to get myself inoculated for if dear love is a disease a sort of miasmatic bubble since some time i must die twould please me most to die of just that trouble june seventh End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Fission by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Goin' fishin? Yes, I be. But no hook nor line for me. For I know a little brook where you don't need a line ne'er hook brook a streamin from above full o light and full o love bringin schools a swarmin cheer to us worried fellers here goin to catch a mess o fun swimmin down from yonder sun goin to catch a mess o air makin me forget my care goin to catch a stock o health finest kind o human wealth fishin in the waters free god's a pourin down on me june eighth end of poem this recording is in the public domain my faith by john kendrick bangs read for librivox .org by Tavarish i have a faith in things that are to be which in all woes doth much to comfort me a sense of an eternal fatherhood that as a child i found supremely good that held me safe from evil and alarms enfolded in its all-protecting arms and though my stock of years is passing large e'en as a little child i hold in charge that faith that whatsoever things may be a father's hand is still stretched out to me june ninth end of poem this recording is in the public domain the hate that steals by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Cecilia Loy. They tell me not to hate, yet I am glad when things of evil rear their heads to do. Such deeds as only worlds run wholly mad could match for pain and wickedness and rue. That while my heart is still a heart that sings of that fair love that holds the spirit strong. It holds deep hatred for those evil things that steal the righteous hand to grapple wrong. June tenth. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Friendly Offerings by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org 
by Cecilia Loy. There's no such thing as loneliness in June, if with the world you'll put yourself in tune. By day the laughing flowers will nod at you for hours, and when the night comes on the beaming moon, will offer you her comradeship and far. Up in the heavens, fast some little star, will wink a roguish eye at you, and grin upon the sly at you, as if unto the end he'd like to be your friend. So, brother, hasten, get yourself in tune with all these friendly offerings of June, the stars, the nodding flowers, and the moon. June 11th, end of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Frequent Cure by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Cecilia Loy At five o'clock each day I fold my cares away And when the whistle blows Completely drop my woes And in tonight I slip As on a pleasure trip Forgetting all my pain Till morning comes again And, marvellous to say When on the coming day I turn to seek my care I find it isn't there June twelfth End of poem This recording is in the public domain The Poet by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Cecilia Loy Mr. B's a jolly rover Humming through the fields of clover Working while he seems to play I don't wonder he's so jolly Seeming free of melancholy I'd be that way too, by golly Making honey all the day Possibly he doesn't know it But to me the bee's a poet Bent upon an endless rhyme Through incessant measures swinging Humming, strumming, drumming, singing From the heart of beauty ringing Liquid sweetness all the time. June thirteenth. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Spread it by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Cecilia Loy. Get in the sunshine business and spread your wares around. There's always someone in distress, and darkness to be found. Some chap held in the grip of rue, to whom a greeting warm, will seem like sunshine bursting through the evil clouds of storm. June fourteenth. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Fortune by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Cecilia Loy. Who would not help if so he could, a brother bear his pain, and count that little deed of good a measure of pure gain? Well, there are brothers waiting, yes, they're calling every day. Their name is Legion, and they press in hosts along the way, and if a deed of sympathy adds to the profit score, a fortune vast for you and me lies waiting at the door. June fifteenth. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Daily Word by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Let's choose some word today to help us on our way. Some word like sympathy, or hope, or charity, or faith, or love, or light, and keep them air in sight, and use our mother wit to live the sense of it. Who knows but we shall find the word denotes our kind, and when the twilight falls and relaxation calls, twill comfort us to feel that we have made it real. June sixteenth. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.
The Tree by John Kendrick Banks, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Tis nothing to be sad about because you cannot gad about and roam from place to place in search of things to wake you up and possibly to shake you up in an eternal chase. Yon tree is anchored where she is, and oh, how wondrous fair she is as motionless she stands. You never hear her maundering because she is not wandering o'er distant seas and lands. She stays in her appointed place, she takes her own anointed place, tap-rooted to the sod, and does her task beguilingly, and grows and grows all smilingly up, ever up, to God. June seventeenth. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Oak O Lily by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. The oak with endless length of days, the lily passing like a flash of light, both win from man a worthy meed of praise the one for beauty, and the one for might. Which would I be of these could I but choose? I cannot say, but this is in my mind, the lot of neither could I e'er refuse, could I, as they, be perfect of my kind. June 18th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Sigh Not by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Sigh not for better worlds all full of bliss, but put your shoulder to life's whirring wheel and try to make a better one of this, and let the future what it will reveal. We've sighs enough without your adding more, and tears enough and amplitude of sin, but all the while joy stands outside the door and only waits your call to enter in. June 19th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Goodly Choice by John Kendrick Banks Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish if I shall win my goal, or lose, I may not be the chooser. But if the crown the fates refuse, one choice will be, and that I'll choose, to be a smiling loser. June twentieth. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Day by John Kendrick Banks, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Morn I rejoice in, since it brings me light, and sends me on my way with sense of power, to do the things I must do ere the night hath set an end unto the golden hour. Noon, too, I love with ardor, since the sun in full and mellowed glory gilds the blue, and shows the daily labor well begun with goals in sight that I am speeding to. And night? The night is likewise dear to me, since with it comes relief from press and strain, with gifts of dreams through which the path I see back to the vigor of the morn again. June 21st End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Triple Hold by John Kendrick Banks, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. When things are going wrong and courage holds less strong, to win the bays anon, hold on. When tempted to give way, your purpose to betray, 
to win the day at last hold fast when weariness descends and weakness dire impends to put defeat to rout hold out june twenty second end of poem this recording is in the public domain sheer waste by john kendrick bangs read for librivox talk by tavarish to hate an enemy i hold to be an idle whim that hurts me more all said and done that ere it hurteth him it clutters up my heart with wrath and fills my soul with gloom and wastes a lot of useful time on bitter thoughts of doom it smears the bright blue of my skies with sordid tints of gray and clouds with shadows dark the light of every passing day so why should i give up my joys for hatred seething hot of one who doesn't care a rap if i hate him or not june twenty third end of poem this recording is in the public domain achievement by john kendrick bangs read for librivox .org by Tavarish. i'm rather small but i can do the biggest things on earth and with small effort put them through despite their wondrous worth for i can love and i can hope and hold a friendly hand to mortals who in trouble grope because i understand and i can give a bit of cheer and brighten up the day for some poor traveller pale with fear upon the darkened way june twenty fourth end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Climber by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox Talk by Tavarish. I knew a man who used his chains to climb on up to liberty, and found his later stock of gains the sweeter for his slavery, and in his freedom one he found not less but greater servitude, and passed to realms beyond us crowned with bays of golden gratitude june twenty fifth end of poem this recording is in the public domain the old and the new by john kendrick bangs read for librivox talk by Tavarish. they say there's really nothing new upon this gladsome earth that all the jokes we laugh at are of very ancient birth that all the great inventions of this wondrous age of ours were known to the egyptians and contemporary powers they say that all the stories by our storytellers told are but the variations of the narratives of old that all the novel notions that we find in politics the greeks and romans tried out ere they journeyed o'er the sticks they say that life and laughter are as ancient as the hills that there is nothing novel in our very latest ills but when they say that love is old the oldest thing we see i'm glad to say despite its age it's new enough for me june twenty sixth end of poem this recording is in the public domain the burden bearer by john kendrick bangs read for librivox .org by Tavarish. when burdens hard my shoulders bear one thing i know to ease my care twas god or i who placed them there if by some act of mine they came i know full well if i am game some other act can lift the same but if twas god that made of me the bearer of some burden he wished carried forward sturdily with heart and soul elate and voice 
appraised in thanks i shall rejoice and strive to justify his choice june twenty seventh end of poem this recording is in the public domain ever young by john kendrick bangs read for librivox talk by tavarish i'll not be old until that day comes by when i shall fail to feel the fresh surprise that all the splendors of the morning sky reveal unto my soul through waking eyes i'll not be old until i cease to hear the music in the whispers of the breeze and listen with a dull unheeding ear to nature's so abundant harmonies i'll not be old until my heart shall find no sense of love that's wrapped up in the rose and holdeth no response as to its kind in all the beauty of the garden close i'll not be old until the soul of me ceases to joy in faith and hope and truth and though an hundred years my span shall be with these to guide i'll hold always to youth june twenty eighth end of poem this recording is in the public domain safety deposit vaults by john kendrick banks read for librivox talk by tavarish old midas keeps his bonds and stocks hid in a safe deposit box where thieves may not break in and seize his fine gilt-edged securities i keep mine in the vault of blue that none disputes my title to great stores of streaming golden light and shares in all the stars of night a mine of loving kindness pays rich dividends to bless my days and all its wondrous stores of love i hold within those vaults above and need no lock and need no key lest thieves shall steal that wealth from me since i can give it all and still find more those coffers vast to fill june twenty ninth End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. As to Unkind Words by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Think of all the unkind words in the dictionary. Add them, if you wish to, to your vocabulary. Keep them at your beck and call when you're feeling sneery have em at your fingertips when you're sore and weary fit them to your angry mood adjectives sarcastic words of overwhelming kind trenchant sharp and drastic measure them with proper care ponder them and weigh them but no matter how you feel don't you ever say them june thirtieth End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. End of The Cheery Way, A Bit of Verse for Every Day, June, by John Kendrick Bangs.